My safe word is panic with you. Should be 5'7", 260 pounds. You remember the briefing. You know he has a failure to appear to court. No, I didn't know that. Bail bonds, can you come out and talk with me, buddy? There he is. Runner, runner. You're gonna get hurt in there. Put it down, You throw like a girl. Crawl to me. Lay down right here. I was the one in the cave, crafting and making and making a brave. Yeah. Oh, he's got my taser. He's got my taser. He's down, he's down. Hey, Patrick, come. Patrick. Come out. Freeze, motherfucker. Don't take another step. Like I said, what's up guys, I'm Patty Mayo. Welcome to The Hunt. This video isn't the usual door kicking, taser using, baton pulling action that you're used to. So I've been promising you a gear video for a long time. We're gonna do an in-depth gear video right now. I'm gonna show you all the gear that we use in the back of the new H1 Hummer. And you're like, wait, where did that come from? That's a new truck we just got. It will be in the video starting next month. And now let's just get into it. Let's start with everybody's favorite, the duty belt. Starting from uh, right to left here, we get the ASP double-sided locking handcuffs. We get the X2, Taser X2, Taser. Back up! This has two cartridges on it. Right now, these are both empty. This is a 25-foot cartridge. Uh, shoots the prongs out through a nitrogen cartridge built in here. We insert both cartridges, pull the trigger, and it shoots them out. You can see on the display here, it tells me that both my cartridges are empty, but take one of these out and put a new one in. 25 foot on one, empty on the other. Couple different cartridges we use in the show. That's a 25 foot law enforcement cartridge. This is a 15 foot civilian cartridge. I don't know why they want civilians to have in the 25 foot version. I don't know, but Taser lets me have them. So, Oh, and this has also got the taser cam at the bottom. Anytime I turn the taser on, this camera automatically activates with the worst audio you've ever heard in your entire life. That's why we use the audio that's uh, on my body right now. The taser cartridge refilling kit, I built this myself, holds all the taser cartridges that you need. It's great to have in the truck, because we tase. We tase a lot of people. We go through a lot of taser cartridges. Going down the list here. We get the uh, Surefire knockoff, the Claris. Why don't I use Surefire? I use my lights and lose my lights all the time. You'll notice I have two lights on me, one here on my uh, belt, one on my vest. Plus, it's easier to get one, one on your back, one on your front. It's nice. They always need a flashlight and they're always dying. It has a little USB charger on here, which is actually kind of nice. Next, I have the 21 inch ASP collapsible baton. I love these because in the old ass batons, the non-button press, you have to slam them down on stuff like on concrete in order to get them to close. This is really nice because a button right there closes super smooth. This is my favorite pistol to carry. It's the Glock 17, has a TLR 3 light on the front, shoots a 9 millimeter cartridge. This cartridge right here, sorry, this magazine holds 10 plus one in the chamber so this gun is capable of holding 11 rounds at once in current setup. Currently empty. Next down the duty belt, we have two additional magazines. This magazine is a higher capacity. That's a 16 plus one mag, and then a second 16 plus one mag here. Last on the belt, second set of ass handcuffs. Now I get to replace, you sometimes see me getting stuck on the show. It's because this, this duty belt right here, this, uh, the handcuff case got cut. And so my cuffs are getting stuck inside the pouch. There we go. Second set, pretty basic ass handcuffs. This is my triple IA safe flight defense body armor. I'll show you what the panels look like inside it. This is the, the external carrier is a Molly carrier, so I can hook all my gear to it. This is what the panels inside look like. Right there. This is a uh, threat level NIJ06 with triple IA. It'll basically stop most handgun rounds, but it's not going to stop a rifle round. Another cool feature about this vest has a pull handle. So in case you go down, your partner is able to grab this little pull handle here. 
hold on to you, drag you out of harm's way. On the front, got my badge, got my mic, my shoulder mic connected to my radio here. This is a, uh, a digital radio, runs on a cellular network service, connects us all without having to worry about radio interference or worry about distances in between or repeaters or anything like that. Next we have the Axon body camera. Pretty simple. Flip the uh, switch on at the front to keep it on standby mode all day. Now this camera records all day long so as soon as I hit this button in front it automatically includes the last 90 seconds of footage. So let's say, say something crazy happened, like you got into a car accident, you were on standby, bang, you double click the camera and it automatically includes the last 90 seconds of audio and video. Last on my vest, I have an admin pouch, has my pen, an extra cuff key, a little flag patch there, an extra flashlight. Then inside here, I usually keep my audio pack. Sometimes I'll keep extra belt keepers, an extra cuff key, uh, a notepad, little things like that. Next, going down the table here, we got the dry chemical fire extinguisher. This one's great because it'll do electrical fires, wood fires, trash fires. It's a very expensive fire extinguisher, but at the same time, this can tackle almost any kind of fire you can imagine. Different fires have different properties and different fire extinguishers can actually make a situation worse. So we have a universal fire extinguisher here that can handle all of those different scenarios. Cool little fact about this, if this fire extinguisher chemical gets in your lungs, you need to be held upside down because the uh, chemical and the air in here is heavier than the outside air. So in order to get it out of your lungs, you need to be held upside down. Speaking about smoke and chemicals, we got our standard respirator here. I can put two cartridges, one on each side. I prefer just to have a cartridge on one side or filter on one side. That way if I have a long rifle or something like that and I need to lean on my cheek, I can always lean on my left cheek. This is super simple. It's always set up to just slide over your head. Pull down. Tighten a couple straps. And in seconds, you're ready to go. Now, if a chemical attack were to occur, Jared would fall dead. I'd be fine. With the gas mask, we typically use either tear gas or we'll use a smoke grenade. This is a standard mil spec smoke grenade that you, anybody can buy. It just deploys a lot of smoke. It's great for getting people out of cars, getting people out of rooms, out of buildings, stuff they don't really want to breathe in. They can't see, they can't breathe. All of a sudden they run out of wherever they're in. I absolutely love this tool, one of my favorite tools in my arsenal. Uh, my least favorite tool in my arsenal is the pepper gel, pepper spray. I hate this stuff. Why? When it gets on them, it gets on you. Everybody's nose is going, their eyes are going, their mouth is going. I just hate fighting with this stuff. I have much better options than using this. Now, funny thing about pepper spray, if you use an oil-based pepper spray and then you taser a suspect, you could actually light them on fire because the, the, the pepper spray is flammable. I use a water-based pepper spray just in case we have to use two. Um, but as a safety precaution, anytime we use pepper spray, never use a taser. Use a taser first, pepper spray last, pepper spray first, never taser later. Next, we have a spit mask. Remember, spitters are quitters, and quitters get the hood. Really super simple. Slide this on over your suspect's head. If he spits at you, hawks a loogie in your face, it's not gonna hit you. Nothing to worry about. And put your hat on over it, you look like a beekeeper. So that's pretty cool. One of my favorite toolboxes right here, this is my Nick test kit. Test every type of drug you can ever imagine. All these test kits are pretty much the same. They have a, uh, they have a couple different glass vials inside them. The first thing you do is open up the kit, insert a little bit of narcotics through the top, and I mean a little teeny tiny bit. I mean the little tiny bit you can even see on your pinky is all it needs. Put that in here. And then the different kits have different instructions for each. But typically, you'll break the first vial, then you'll agitate it. Then you'll break the second vial, you'll look for a particular color. Then you break the third vial, and you'll look for a particular color change. So in this one, this is a marijuana test kit. So you're going to break the, uh, they're going to break the first ample, agitate for one minute. Break the second one, look for the pink color. Then we break the third one and look for pink under clear. So look for that color change and that would indicate the positive prevalence of uh, marijuana or THC. In my drug test kit I also keep a scale that's able to uh, measure in small quantities very accurately and a little evidence tape kit. He's got little, these like little evidence to go stickers. You can just peel a little sticker off there. 
call it evidence and it's a good day. And here, property bags. Simple property bags. We're able to put everybody's information on it, what property we found, where it belongs, where it's going. This can either be used for evidence, found property, or just for safekeeping. Put everyone's property in there, tear the uh, seal up top, tear it off. And here's a cool thing, let's say you put someone's property in there, you seal it, you write all their information on it, then this top little piece is a tear off. So you can just give them this little piece, then they can claim their property at a later date and you know what bag it matches up with. One of the tools we don't use very often, but one of my favorite tools is these rubber batons. They're rubber bullets used in a 12 gauge shotgun. These are fantastic for everything from breaking out doors to shooting your suspect in the nuts. I guarantee they get one of those in the nuts. They're giving up. Now on to safety. Number one safety item I always use, rubber gloves. Always use latex gloves, even under my 5.11 gloves. You never know where you're going to get poked with, stuck with, or when someone's going to bleed. Always very important to make sure that your body is covered. That's why we wear long sleeve shirts. We wear gloves over gloves. Secondly, when people do get blood on you, this isn't something you want to touch with your hands. These are super sandy cloths. These are pretty much just wet wipes doused in alcohol. And I mean 100% blow your nose up alcohol. These are my favorite things to have in the truck for blood because it just kills everything in its path. A very important piece of equipment, very expensive piece of equipment, probably one of the most important things that we have on the truck is our AED. Now this AED is very simple to use. It's by Philips. You see as soon as you take it out and you pull this off, it's going to start giving us verbal Begin instructions. By removing all clothing from the patient's chest. Cut clothing if Which needed. it gives you some trauma shears to be able to cut the patient's clothing if needed. So this can be used by absolutely anybody. It tells you when what to do step there, by step. Remove protective cover and take out white adhesive pads. Right here. Peel one pad from the yellow plastic liner. And then you peel the other pad. One goes here. One, sorry, one goes here, one goes here or here. And here you want to make a cross diagonal across the chest. This is pretty much a dummy proof item. Anybody can use it, walks you through the entire process. And if the patient needs CPR, has also a button on here that walks you through the entire CPR process. Now, if someone's not in cardiac arrest, but they are hurt, we have our advanced MyMedic medical bag here. I don't want to go through every compartment of this because it would literally take us an hour. Um, but up here, we have everything from Benadryl to, uh, Latex bandages, regular bandages, gauze bandages, quick clot. Um, up here we have everything from scalpels to lights, trauma shears, uh, anti-friction powder, hydration, uh, hydration packs, life straw, some hydrogen peroxide spray, some burn spray, some saline, some uh, additional saline syringes, or really syringes you can use for anything. Um, instant hot packs, instant cold packs, so ice packs, always going to have ice packs on board, big cold packs, small cold packs, any type of cold packs. That's just the first compartment on this bag. This bag is insane. Literally, if you're a nurse or you're an EMT, I'm sure you're just like, you're creaming right now because this bag is, this bag is my favorite thing. I've been through all my EMT B courses, so I know how to use 99% of this stuff. Um, the second bigger compartment has some larger bandages. This is for a moderate hemorrhaging. Has a compression bandage there. Have a couple of those. All sorts of different colors because maybe the patient doesn't like, you know, white bandages. So you got to give them a green bandage uh, or a purple bandage if they're a dinosaur or a plain old, uh, really like w like tan looking bandage. If like they're one of those people that wears khaki pants, they like tend to like those. I pretty much have this bag all freshly stocked. Try to replace things as they're used on it. Usually in this compartment, we don't have to replace this stuff very much because this, if you use these bandages, you in trouble. You in some big trouble if those bandages are going on. You get some bad hemorrhaging going on. A lot of people nowadays are diabetic and they can go into like a diabetic coma and need glucose. So I have 15 grams of glucose bags. Got about five or six glucose bags in here, which is fantastic if you're incurring someone who's having a, di uh, a diabetic emergency. 
a much larger burn dressing in burn gel. If you have a, a larger burn, we saw we some burn spray in the first compartment. This is just for larger burns. And over here, we have some uh, standard, you know, breathing masks. If you have a patient that's so messed up that you can't even give them mouth to mouth because their jaw is all messed up or their airway is completely obstructed, you can use a nasopharyngeal airway. It's also called an NPA. It inserts right through their nose. And I've actually inserted one of these in my nose, but I'm not going to do it again. In EMT class, you lube it up, stick it in here, give it a little twist, and it goes straight down. It's actually incredibly easy to use. It's absolutely disgusting, and you have to have a uh, like no gag reflex for it to do it while you're awake. But if your patient's unconscious, it's a great thing to use to get an alternative airway. And with the NPAs, just like a normal airway, you can give them CPR and mouth to mouth right through their nose. Yeah, you put the bag valve mask right up to their, right up to their, their airways and it's not going to go in their mouth, it's going to go through their nose and then that, that clear NPA is going to get it right down to their trachea. Liquid band-aids, a lot of liquid little band-aid kits in case someone's got a little, uh, little cut that just won't stop bleeding or quick clot control dressing. We also have cell lock, which is a hemostat agent. It's another quick clotting agent. However, this stuff is a powder. And if you get this in your eyes, it can make you go blind. So I try not to uh, ever use that. We have splints. If you have a leg injury or an injury to uh, one of your larger external extremities. This is kind of like a little survival kit. It has some paracord in here. Um, it has a, a different, type of, uh, different type of tourniquet. It has a couple light sticks has a couple space blankets, things to keep you warm. There's a little flint in there. Just like a little nighttime survival kit. In here, this is mostly just tape and bandages. So all different sizes of gauze bandages here, different size medical tapes in here. Um, some really thick gauze bandages here. This one is typically on my vest right now. It's in my medical bag. It's the tourniquet that I carry every day. This tourniquet is super easy to use, especially if you're by yourself. So let's just say you're shot in the lower arm and come up, wrap this over my arm, take this, twist this a couple times and then lock it in down there. And now of course my circulation in my arm is going to be cut off. Get the feeling back in my arm now, stethoscope. Blood pressure cuff, super exciting stuff. And I think the last thing to show you, last couple of things here, neck brace for C-spine immobility. We have an adult neck brace and a child's neck brace and a camelback. So in case the adult or child is really thirsty, one of the best things to do is give someone fluids when they have a spinal injury. No, it's not. It's not. This video is not used for educational or informational purposes. This is just me showing you gear. Do not take anything I say in this video seriously. Thank you. Um, before someone's like, Patty, my mom got in a car accident and I shoved Gatorade down her throat and she died. Like, don't come with that. Um, and then obviously the big, big sterile dressings if you literally need to start surgery on the side of the street. If you're super interested in all this medical stuff that I showed you, you can look up local courses to take your EMT courses. You don't even have to become an EMT. You can just do what I did and took them and take them just for the fun experience and just to learn what it's all about. It's about $900 and takes a few months to complete and well worth it. You definitely feel more prepared. Now let's move on to some funner stuff. A new item that we've never shown on the show before. This is coming, well, this is what we're using right now, but until about the first week of May or so, this probably won't be on the show. It's our brand new Ballistic Shield. Got this after the, uh, the guy threw a skunk at me Come out. and some two by fours filled with nails. Out. I figured Get we just out. couldn't live any longer without having one of these. This Ballistic Shield is also equipped with a strobe and a light in front. I don't have any batteries in it right now, so I wish I could turn it on for you. This also is a triple IA, 44 magnum, 44 magnum, 240 grain at 1400 FPS and nine millimeter, 124 grain full metal jacket at 1400 FPS. That tells you the uh, ballistic uh, characteristics of this shield. This is one of the most expensive single items that we have on the entire truck. The back of it 
It has a little strap here, which I never use. And then it has a little uh, forearm pad there. And then you hook your arm around the front. This, this, little, this, little right, this little pad right here is a button for the, uh, for the strobe and for the light. So all I have to do is squeeze it and the light will come on. It's pretty cool. It's super light. It's only about 16 pounds, but still holding this up for like 15 minutes absolutely smokes your arm. It's really good for, uh, I've been using this recently to work out with. Love it. New favorite piece of gear. One of the most frequently used pieces of gear we have is the Black Hawk battering ram. It's really simple. Just a, a big metal tube with some uh, shock resistant handles on it. So when you smash the door, these kind of flex and bend with your hands so you don't break your wrist and it gives you a lot more force going through the door. This also weighs about 25, uh, 30 pounds. Some more entry tools that we have. Go right down the Blackhawk line. All of our entry tools are by Blackhawk. This is the sledge axe combo. Sledgehammer on one side, axe on the other side. It's a duller axe. It's not really meant for chopping wood as it is just to making entry. And the reason that we have a sledge on the back of this is for use with the Halligan. So this Halligan tool right here, you can see that it's charaded on all the edges and it's charaded on the, uh, on the angle here. And that's so that you can basically ratchet open doors. So as you continue to work this into a door jam, these little teeth catch on the door and allow you to almost ratchet it open. But when you first stick this in a door jam, we hit it with the back of the sledge, knock this into the door jam, and then pry it straight open. The Halligan is an awesome tool. It's great for breaking windows because it's super sharp and super thin on this edge, which allows you to get into those door jams. Uh, we can use this on interior swinging and exterior swinging doors. We also carry some Blackhawk bolt cutters with us. This will cut a pretty thick lock. Actually, I have a lock right here that I cut with it. As you can see, this is like a, a pretty well protected master lock. It's the kind of lock that you use to put on a house uh, to hold keys in, like for real estate agents and stuff. They had one of these on, on my building and nobody knew the combination to it, so I had to get it cut off. And I figured, you know what, I'll just use my bolt cutters. So Jared and I cut that off with uh, the bolt cutters. These also work great at, in teams. When you have bolts that are super, super thick, you can push against each other and open up much larger locks. Woo, one of my favorite tools in the whole world. I want to say that this actually might get used more than the, uh, than the ram. This is the break and rake, specifically made for breaking and raking windows, doors, anything glass. You can see it's been used quite a few times. Uh, I also like to strap smoke grenades to it and shove this through the window and uh, smoke out houses because when it's attached to this, it's a lot harder for the suspect inside to grab it and throw it back out. Um, so you use the hook here to grab onto things like the window framing or the little crossbars and doors, rip them out so that your entire team can make entry. So you can see down this entire front side, there's just hooks all the way down to help you grab onto anything that can get in your, anything that can get in your team's way. Uh, here, nothing tactical in here. Just some road flares. Everybody needs road flares when they're on the road. This is just a, a uh, just a pretty much a, a backpack that I keep the, like some smoke grenades in. Um, I'll keep some flex cuffs in there. Just kind of like a run and gun raid bag. Um, if we're running into a situation where um, we need a lot of smoke, no. This is my extras bag. Uh, this is all stuff that needs to be put away. Uh, smoke grenades, flex cuffs, that type of thing. Just a regular old standardized tactical helmet. It looks dorky. You just look, look, I mean, I look like a dork. I just look like kind of a dork, but that's okay. I mean, safety second on this show. Cool, look cool first. But I figured that with the combination between this, this, and this, and don't, and don't be getting on my butt right now for holding this sideways. I'm holding this sideways so I can actually see my iron sights. Because if you hold a shield like this, you see, I can't actually see my iron sights through the shield. So when you operate a shield, you'll see everybody hold their gun to the side. And that's so I can see down my sights. Because again, if it's out here, obviously you don't want me sticking my head out here. And obviously you don't want me bending my wrist like that because I can't get a, a very a very good shot off like that. But if I just turn it sideways, believe it or not, bullets can fly down sideways. You can hold it just like that. You can see through your sights a lot easier. And let's not forget about the gear that our camera crew uses. They shoot on an A7S with a variety of different lenses. Also on top of an Evo gimbals 
Rage 3 gimbal. I absolutely love this thing. It has follow focus on it, it has several different modes, keeps our footage super clean and smooth when running through areas or when Kayla or Jared is chasing me through a field, through a house, through a door, through a sewer, wherever we go, this gimbal follows us, gets a super smooth footage. And on top, we're using the Sony AVX digital microphone system. And as you can see, the Sony battery just died. That's why the audio changed and you're using, listening to the audio from this a7, which isn't as good because it's not connected to my lavalier microphone. That pretty much does it for this gear video, but don't worry, the video's not over. You're going to go on and see a video that I've named Rap God. No idea what I actually titled it on YouTube. It wasn't as exciting, but it's still pretty cool. Hope you enjoy it. I'm Petty Mayo, and now on to Thunt. Woo! What's up, guys? I'm Patty Mayer. Welcome to the show. Today on the show, before we get into it, I want to tell hey, you I'm about a say. How are you? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you about my partner. Yes. Big Black Boom Boom Coco Butter D, a.k.a. Bounty. Bounty. You know when I say it in the redneck accent, though? It sounds hella racist. No, it sounds horrible. Here with my partner, my number one man. Yes. I was going to say my partner in crime. Kind of. Partner, partner, partner in anti-crime. Yeah, yeah, we do crime. Because we do crime. Because we, we, we do crime. No, we do. We prevent, <laughs> we don't prevent. We arrest crime. So I we arrest crime. You, we arrest crime. I always call you my partner in crime. Always. All right. So anyways, crime. yeah. Yes. What, where, when was I? Let's just get to today. The today, to the oh, the sales, the sales. 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 Here we go. Doing Boom. a sale on the site. Offers cannot be combined. We have three offers for you right now. Free beanie with any order. Just use code free beanie. Free shipping on any order over fifty dollars. Just use code free shipping. And buy one get one fifty percent off. Just use code. Uh, Bono. Bogo. 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 I say it wrong. Is it a white people thing? Is Bogo is a white people thing? I don't know. What I always it is. see it in a Payless commercial. I don't know. You know what it is? It's Bogo read. time at Payless. It says buy. Kind of sounds like, well, looks like bye. Bogo at? Bono, right there, Bono. Bogo. That's Bogo. Right there, yeah, the Use G. The code word, Bogo, there we go. Uh, coupon code. Coupon code, Not Bogo. code word. Not Bono. Today, yes. today, yeah. we uh, apprehended, which I thought, swear to God, when this came across my desk. Yeah. This is after the fact, by the way, on the show we do a new thing called after, after the fact. After the fact. After. We already apprehended this guy. When this came, a picture came across my desk, I was like, we got Andy Milanakis. <laughs> We're arresting Andy Milanakis. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. We didn't. It's not him. We didn't. No. His not. name is Billy Bob. He has a failure to appear for disorderly and assault. Mm -hmm. 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Wears glasses, has eyes. 18 oh, years man. old, glasses, eyes. That's, yeah, that that's what the note says. That's pretty helpful. He has yeah. eyes. So we're looking for a man who can see us too. Bingo. Five foot seven inch, 260 pounds. Brown hair. Yeah, blue. Oh, here, it was blue. Blue eyes. It just says eyes. 18 years, 18 years, glasses, eyes. But you see where I messed it up? Yeah, you did. You skipped over. That's okay. Yeah. So Billy Bob on bond with us. Mm -hmm. Was on bond with us. Now currently, in jail. He's in currently jail. in custody. Yeah, he's in jail. Um, oh, that's kind of a spoiler. We kind of, we can't, we kind of tried to get him back out, but kind of couldn't. There's a few things that happened. We yeah. couldn't necessarily get him back out, yeah. but that's okay. Anyways, so Billy Bob, the rapper, by the way. Long, long walk, went fishing. Boom. Went fishing. I think that's got a little, I don't want to Things get don't wet. Spoil it. No, I won't get wet. I, I, won't, get, I, was gonna say, I won't get wet. I won't get wet. <laughs> I won't get wet. <laughs> Nobody's getting wet. No, no. Except for Billy Bob. Billy Bob, yeah. He, was, he is getting wet. It's some stuff happening. So. Uh, his pants get do his pants get a little sock, soggy, yes. soggy yes. pants. Soggy pants. Um, he's also a rapper, aspiring rapper. And right now, I actually like to play a little note from his SoundCloud. Here we go. Here we go. I thought that was pretty cool. I never heard it before. I put it in post. Have you heard it? Okay, so that is. Let's just give. Awkward. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt okay. and just pretend like we listened to it already. All right, ready. Man, that was fire! Dude, Woo! Dead. Man, he got some Woo! skills. He threw it down, throw it down them bars. Oh, man, he's yeah. just, like he gonna be a big star. He's gonna be. Woo! He's gonna be something great. Something, he's gonna be great. Something else. Never late on the plate. Yes. What is it? Cake. Yes, he got it. Okay, that's good. Now you, now you come back with it. No. Man. He got it on the no, plate. No, I'm more he like ate a, the cake no. and the fish too. Can I see your lips, boo? Yeah, Who? Yeah. Don't call me boo. That's just boo. You don't call me boo. I'm bounty on a deal. Bounty on a booty. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into the hunt. Hold on, let me do the sound. Ready? No, you. She was too quick. Love it. That's it. So you said this dude's name is. Do you need gloves? No, I'm good. You want gloves? Okay, stop that. Just because I have. Oh, you already got them on? Okay, so you. Sweet. Know right on it, baby. Right on it, baby. You're a jerk. Just remember that. I'm not a right? jerk. I love you. Yes, you better love me.
So we going after this dude. Is, you said his name is Bob. Billy, Billy Bob. Bob. Billy Bob. Last name perhaps Thornton or no? Possibly. Possibly. Okay. So it's a celebrity. Did, we didn't didn't check. You know what? It could be him. I'm a little fu I'm a little fuzzy. I'm a little fuzzy on the picture. Going after Billy Bob. Should be 5'7", 260 pounds. You remember the briefing? Wait, wait, 260? Uh, I thought that was a typo. No, this is from the briefing yesterday, by the way. Right. Um, Nonviolent offender, simple FTA. Lives with uh, lives with mom and dad or another couple. Yeah, but always the 260 man is always like, okay, so what's gonna go out first on me, my knee or like my five, back? He's like 5'8", 260, so matter, he's, like a, he's like a Teletubby. You roll that boy on you, you roll a Teletubby on you. No! Yeah, exactly. I wanna pop another ribs out. Exactly. It's one of these streets around here. I trapped my GVF off too early, sorry. So we don't know how many occupants in the house or anything like that. We just know he's there from your informant. You got an informant on this one? Uh, no, no informant on this one. Uh, we just know that he lives with um, mom, dad, or some couple. Some couple. Some and couple. they can possibly be home right now, correct? Oh, yeah. Obviously. We're going to find it one of these days, you know? It's all right. I don't mind going in a circle. Spending more time with you, homie. We got to spend more time together. You know, we have to bond, right? Right, this part of our bonding. We go after a, on a hunt. We got a bond. You think if we bond close enough, we'll turn into a Latino person? Like, if we just if we mesh us together, like close enough. Yeah, do we, like intertwined. Right. If we put all your black and all my white together, are, do we equal a Latino? No, it will equal the sky, which is gray. Gray? It will equal like gray. gray. I'm already kind of gray. No, if you want to see gray? You gotta look up under this hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's gray like a mother. Oh, man. Don't run over the kids at the no, skate park. This is cool that they got stuff for the kids out here, man. So much dirt. All right, there's going to be this uh, blue house on the left side. There's two entrances here and then over there. I don't know which is the front of the house, so let's just assume it's this. Okay, so I'll go around. We're going in front. I'll go around the other way. Oh, uh, I thought there was a way to get. Hold on. I thought there was a you gonna jump the curb? Yeah. Hold on, you. Up oh, there goes my skirting. Oh. Just kind of rip the skirting as long up. As it doesn't hit your muffler underneath. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go directly to the back. Okay. Got me. Go. Uh, pull. Pull. Okay. You got an open door here. See if you can get around to the other side. D, I got this side because this is an open door. Okay, I'm just saying who's in here, partner. See if you can just make your way around uh, into that fence area. We'll just surround the house first and then we'll do a call out here. Let me know when you're ready on that side. Copy. All right, I'm gonna attempt to make contact at this door. How many doors you got over there? I have one door in the back. I am at the back door. I don't see anyone. You got me. I'm gonna try to make contact. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Bell bonds. Is Billy available? Yeah, he's in his room. Okay. One of the playing video games. Playing video games. Hi, buddy. Is he is he friendly? Yeah. Okay. Want to just hang out right here for? Is this just you two and him inside the house? Yeah. I make an entry. Um, Mom says that uh, Billy's in the back room playing video games. You want to come in through the front? You know, he has a failure to appear to court. Copy on my way. No, I didn't know that. He didn't show up to court. It's really simple. We're going to talk to him about that today. Okay. Bring him back down to uh, get processed. He'll get a new court date and let right back out again. Okay. Are you, I just assumed your mom. Are you mom? Yes. I okay, am. and your dad? Grandpa. Grandpa, okay. Which room is his? In the very back. In the very back? That, this, this, this door right in the front, all the way at the end of the hall? Yeah. Hey, Billy! Like Bail bonds, can you come out and talk with me, buddy? There's another door in that room, or is this? Yeah, there is another door. There's two doors to that room, yeah. in and out? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that slider. Yeah, but it's sealed. It won't, it won't open? Okay. Billy, bail bonds! Come out and talk with me! Is there a window access to get out in that room? Yeah. Park. 
There, there is windows in there. Yeah. Hey, Billy, we know you're inside. We just want to talk to you. Can you come out and talk to me? Pardon me, check the window. Yeah, go out. Yeah, see if you can get some eyes on. I'm not getting any response. He might have headphones on if he's playing video games or something. Just radio me when you need me. See if you can get eyes on him through the window. See if he's got headphones on or something, can't hear us. Copy. Billy! This isn't the room. It must be this room right here. It must be this room right here. Billy, bail bonds, come out and talk to me, buddy. What you got in there, partner? No answer at the door. Can you get eyes on through the window? Negative. Okay, I'm a new uh, knock on his door then. Doors open, I don't see anybody. Billy! His video games are up, but he's not in here. I'm still in the front of the house. I'm going around the side of the house. I'm in his bedroom now. Video games are up, but no sign of Billy. Copy. Did he maybe go for a walk or something? Um, sometimes he runs to the store. But he'd have to go out the front, right? I would assume, but I haven't seen him go out the front. Billy! Bail bonds! Blue coming through! Back door. I don't see any windows open he or anything like that. that door through his bedroom. Through his bedroom? Yeah. He may have left out uh, one of these side doors through his bedroom. Is it okay if I step out? I'm riding back of you. I'm riding back of you, but I didn't see any windows open. I'm heading around the back again. I'm out. Can you come out? I'm out in the back by my truck. Copy. So, yeah, can you see under here, D? I think he's right over, he's right over there, setting. Where? He's what? Right over there. Walking? Really? That dude in a black shirt right there? Yeah. Oh, hold on, don't talk to him. He's just walking back, he's just coming home. I don't want to alarm him. Well, when he sees us, he's going to be alarmed. He might run. So why don't we kind of hide a little bit? You want to call him back over? Turn your lights off. Turn your lights off. Well, let's look at my truck here. No, this is, he can't see that. It, uh, if he sees the push bar, I think we'll be cool. Is a creek down there? D. Yo. D. I think you may have seen us. There he is. He runner. Runner. Stop. Billy, stop. He's in the creek. Billy, we just want to talk to you, brother. This is a Bro, simple matter. You missed my court date, dude. Well, I didn't even mention anything about a court date, so maybe you did. You did or you didn't. It's neither here nor there. Don't pick up an additional charge and be stupid. Yo, man, get out the water, man. Get out the water. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. We're gonna get you down to jail today, get you rebooked and processed, and back out with your mother. 
Billy, I don't want to fight you all wet. I don't want to tase you in there and all that type of you know, crazy stuff. Are you just upset today? What's going on? Why don't, you, why don't you show up to court? Let's start there. Well, I had some trouble with my mom and... Yeah? Well, that trouble's all gone. You're just causing yourself more trouble right now. You're causing yourself more trouble by standing in this creek. You can be charged with resisting arrest, and that's an additional charge, something that you don't want. I honestly don't care. I got kicked out the other day, so it doesn't Well, she doesn't seem to have any problem with you now. It's because she's trying to be nice to you because you got all these f***ing cameras all over the place. Well, do you want to walk over there and talk with her? Because right now I'm on your side. I'm, down. I'm not down. I'm, I'm the only person that's, that's going to get you out. You know what I mean? You gonna go with us? Is that what you mean? You're gonna come out right now? Come on, I'll give you a hand on the way out. Come on. Come on. I'll help you. Come on, come up on these rocks right here. I'm not trying to, and I'm not trying to get your life up, bro. But what you're doing right now, you're gonna pick up an additional charge. You feel me? What I'm doing right now is what I want to do. Well, if you want to keep doing what you want to do, then you need to clear your court date, just get a new court date. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting down in jail until your, until your trial. Well, if that's a better place, then let's go. No, bro. But it's got to be one way, it's got to be one way or the other. You can't have it both, you can't have it both ways, you know what I mean? I'm good. I'm sure it's cold. I mean, it's better than going to jail. It's you're gonna go to jail either way. It's how long you stay in that we're that we're talking about. You know what I mean? Why don't you come up right here, man? It's the easiest way to get up. Come on. No, bro. What are you scared about? I don't know. It could ruin my reputation. So I got. You could pick up an additional charge if you don't come up here. I got people that look look up to me. Well, is this the way you want them to look up to you? Yeah, it's better than going to jail. And it's you know, not better than going to jail. It's not better than getting an additional charge. I don't abide this shit, bro. I don't hey, I feel you, man. Sometimes the system, you know, sucks us in and doesn't give us a fair chance, but there's not much we can do about that. Well, I'm just going to wait for you to come out of the water. Don't be ridiculous, Billy. You're feeling good. Partner. Okay. Partner. You don't see any, you don't see any weapons? Huh? I don't see any weapons. You snake. see any weapons? Look at a snake. Who? A little snake. What kind of snake is that? A uh, garter snake. <laughs> Billy, you see how ridiculous this is right now? It's not very ridiculous. I'm on your side, dude. Obviously not, or else you're going to be with me. I'm on fing with you. I could have just jumped in there and taking you down and all sorts of crazy stuff. I'm just trying to give you the opportunity to help yourself out because I don't want to see you go down to jail for longer than you have to. And that's kind of what you're fixing to, that's kind of what you're fixing to do right now is go down to jail longer than you have to. You're going to get hurt in there. You're going to get hurt in there. Come on over here. That's deep. Come on, man. Let us help you, bro. Come on. Let's go. It's all right, man. That seems pretty deep, dude. Let us help you. That looks pretty deep over here. Do you know here. how to swim? And I'm not going to come in there and rescue you. So if you want to come out of here, otherwise you're gonna get yourself tased. You know what I mean? You can't tase me in the water. No, I can tase you in the water for sure. Why don't you go back the other way by those rocks, man, so we can help you out of here? Just walk that way. Come on. Walk that way. Let's get out of here and talk about it. Come on. Let's go talk to your mother. Let's go talk. I'm not even gonna go hands on you. When you walk, where's your stuff? You came over with a bag of stuff. Yeah, I threw it. Okay, come on. Well, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Billy, here's the deal. We're not even going to touch you, okay? What I want you to do, though, is you're going to walk over here and grab your belongings, and let's just go walk back to your house and have a conversation, all right? Look, everything's cool. Everything's cool. Put your pants up, man. Kind of hard. You cold? Not really. Where's your stuff? Let's go get your stuff. No, I threw it somewhere. Well, let's go grab it. I know you're scared to go back to jail. Yeah, I mean, I was in there for a couple days. And but I, if, what I'm telling you is that if you don't come out of there, you go back for a lot more than a couple days. You can end up there for a couple months, and that's not what I want to see happen to you as a young man. Oh, it's over there. 
I don't think your mom wants to see you go to jail for a couple months either, you know? Then why the fuck would she kick me out of the house? Well, we can talk to her about that. I don't know what's going on in your personal life with your mom. What's in that bag, man? You got any weapons or anything in that? Just Gatorade. Just Gatorade? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's grab your Gatorade and let's walk back over to talk to mom. He's good. Let's walk back home. It's over, my man. I didn't want it to go down like this. I was just trying to, you know, I don't know. I guess I was being stupid. That's all right. Sometimes we're stupid. It's not a big deal, but you are going to go to jail today. But we're gonna work with you and help you get back up. Let's go bring your stuff over to your mom first. Now you're all wet. Now you're gonna go to jail all soaking wet. Oh, what well, we could do, since he was compliant, we could probably get him some dry clothes, Patrick. I think we can probably hang, handle that. Yeah. Since you've been, you've been, you've been good, man. So we'll do that for you. Get you some uh, dry clothes, shoes. How old are you? 18. Your mom wants you to move out, is that what you're saying? Yeah, but I don't have a job yet. Okay. Well, we're just one step at a time. It's like SoundCloud's not that good for money and shit. You a musician? Yeah. What do you do? Just make, uh, I just sing, rap. Oh, you rap? Yeah. You want to spit me some bars? I mean, I don't know. It, it's kind of ridiculous. You're a cop. I shouldn't be just spitting bars at you. Why not? Why not? You get the cameras here. It's your time to shine. I was the one in the cave crafting and making and making a brave, yeah. Ooh, okay, Whoa. okay. A little more. Let's see a little more. All right. Okay. That was unexpected. Right. That was unexpected. Let's okay. hear a little more. Have you ever felt left out of the group because you could have given a boot when you knew you should have been a shoe and like some H druid was pursuing to ruin your life with a curse? That's all I got. What? That's good, man. That's I wasn't expecting that out of you. I wasn't expecting that out of you. You got some talent. Yeah, yeah. You got some talent. Got some bars. He said that you kicked him out a couple days ago. Yeah, but I don't so, have a job. You gotta help me out. Do you think we can work? You, 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 if I work with him and get him back out today, you gonna work with him and let him hang out? Maybe he'll go work in church. That's all I ask. Go to church. You go to church once a week. Yeah. You go to church once a week. You get a place to stay until you get a job and get your own place. How's that sound? Okay, I'll go. I that sounds pretty good. Jesus, I heard of him. You heard of him? Mm -hmm. You want to give mom your Gatorade? Yeah. You okay. Bullshit. Put your hands behind your back. Here's what we got to do first. It's cool. I'm just holding you so my partner can get that. It's cool. We got to take him for his FTA. It's not a big deal. My hand. All right, you okay? Those comfortable? What do you think about getting you some clean clothes? You got any clean clothes you can put on? Yeah. Can you go grab him some clothes? Yeah. Uh, some pants, shirt, yeah. and probably uh, some shoes. All right. And what we're gonna do is we're not gonna let you change here at home, okay? When right. we get over to the jail, you can change in the SUV, okay? Right. You can change in there, and then we'll just walk you into the jail, okay? Because we right. can't take your cuffs off yeah. you now, okay? Because I probably would book it or something. I don't want you to book it. Okay, nah, so don't be running, man. Let's walk over here. Is that our right partner? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We get you changed down at the jail. Not a big deal. I just ain't trying to get maced or something today. Bro, I'm not trying to mace you or tase you. You seem like a nice kid. You just made a mistake. Yeah. I'm not really worried about it. I like your I like your cat shirt. Yeah. I like your bars. I like your wraps. So it's gonna be a good day. Yeah. It's gonna be a good day. You're gonna get back out by sunset, guaranteed. It's only like noon. Yeah, we'll get built back out. So we're good to go. All right. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Remember, we catch a new fugitive, not like Billy. Yeah, we can't say. Most, they're mostly yeah. assholes. Billy's not an asshole. Yeah. Billy, can we get one more set of bars before Billy's we go? Bars? One uh, more. Yeah. Come on, Billy, let's go. Uh, pick, pick the one. Pick the one. Take your, take your time. Be loud, please. Back from the future to the past. Be a blast. Take a fast stick. Up ass. I don't know. That's something, good, man. That's, yeah. that's good, man. That's something. something. It's a work in progress. That's something. You're all right, all guys. Right, You're going to be all right. Remember, we catch a new fugitive, not like Billy, yeah. almost every single day. I'm Patty Mayo. That's my partner, Bounty Hunter D, a.k.a. Big Black Boom Boom Cocoa Butter in the Woods D. Wait, 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 we'll wait, wait, see wait. you on the next one.